welcome back to World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King, Classic Blind. Just chilling in the basement here, I guess. Doing Good day to you. the daily quest. Safe travels. Here we got the wine and cheese Stay one. Around. And then we also have the severed arm, which we need to go get. One fishing quest per episode, I've decided. So that should be fine. Any more glasses up here? It can happen. Yep, there's one. So between this and the in bar, keep, tavern, right next to the quest location. This will be fine. Everything's great. It definitely is nicer doing these pick up the bits quests when there's less competition. So that's okay. Cheese and an arm. It's definitely a whole thing. Grab one from there, even. Oh, is the shiny cheese outside? There it is. That works. Aged Deliran Limburger. Brilliant. And finish with this one. Make the platter. There you go. And bring it over over here. Nice and easy. Still working on getting all the points. For the cooking hat and all that. See you soon. Spice bag. It's got spices in it. Who would have thought? Where, where are we at? Alright, anyways. Let's see. 75. Not bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's a hundred for the hat. There's also a few more recipes. We're getting some cure into our reputation, which is also something. I'm, I'm good with that. One thing we need to be aware of here is if we save the fishing quest, it means we don't get another one at the next time. No. That's something to not really be worried about, really. That's okay. So we just need the severed arm again here. I don't think we're going to bother trying to sell any of these. Technically, it counts as a white item since it's a alcoholic thing. And therefore, has an effect. <laughs> Gray items are just things that literally do nothing. If it does anything, even if that is as little as heals a bit, <laughs> it counts. Gain dodge rating with the heal. <laughs> Brilliant. Not worth too much. Yeah, cook. Fishing is at 413. That's alright. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. It's working out. So. Just need to find the correct eel that has eaten an arm. It does bring up some questions about why there's so many eels over here. We're not gonna think about it. Not gonna worry about it. And it looks like no fishing levels today. There's always a chance. There's always a chance. The other setback on. There you go. And deliver the arm. Fantastic. 
arm. Oh, that's 200 daily quests. We've, we've been working on that one, clearly. <laughs> 200 daily quests. Yep. Quite a few. There's one for 500 daily quests, though. Oh, no. That... That's gonna take a while. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be focusing so much on daily quests once we're done with this whole cooking business. But we just kind of run into them constantly, so that's fine. There's 3,000 quests here. Seems like a lot. And we also have to work on these, which we are. Anyways, Light be with you. sell some stuff here. All the gray stuff we don't need. Probably Very open the fishing diamond. treasures. Just straight up some money. Seal vial poison begins a quest. I think this is just something we can do here. Vile poison looks particularly dangerous. Perhaps someone in town around might be interested in it. Bring this to the sewers. And then we just get money. I'm up for getting some free money. Still rocking just over 5,000 gold here. That's working out. Will be a question of where we get more gold in the future. <laughs> or if we really need more gold in the future. <laughs> if we do more dungeons and stuff, eventually we'll get more drops and everything. Oh. It'll probably be fine. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Not too worried about it. Good day to you. And we have the poison. It's very potent. See you around. And we get some money and reputation. Hello. And we can sell him some more junk. I like these fish. And these fish. That's more pygmy oil. It's always a fun time. Have a good one. Alright. And we also really don't need this ring to hey sell that. Can't disenchant it since it's soulbound. And then this is unsellable. Oh. See you later. That's fine. There you go. Yeah, this is definitely getting Kieran Tor reputation. That's one way of doing it, I guess. Yeah. That's enough for these dailies. And another one. Super stew. See you later. Carrots and meat. Have a good okay. one. We can do it. I mean, we've already proven that we can do all the cooking quests. That's, that's not the determining factor here. <laughs> Desperately do need to get more chilled meat at this point, though. My goodness. We are running out. We are running out. What can I do for you? Put this other tavern in here, though. Four more meat. Nope. And anything else we want to put in the bank? These, I guess. That's fine. Safe travels. We're gonna get more of the spices here, anyways. So, whether we store that now or not, not a huge concern. <laughs> Looks like he is doing some fishing. Hey there. Jewels of the sewers. Be careful. Have a good one. We'll see if he's still fishing once we are done with the cooking quest. We'll tell if he finds. We'll be able to tell if he gets the jewel. I'll answer that question. <laughs> Clearly, he's doing the fishing quest in order to try to capitalize on the obviously very high drop rates of fancy gems that apparently exists that we keep getting. Always a good time. <laughs> Could have swipe, swiped into the, get that carrot there. Right. There's one. There's a second. <laughs> Gonna swipe in and get that carrot there. <laughs> it's a battle out here. It's a battle out here. Alright. 
carrots, 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 carrots. And now we've just got one carrot. That's not going to work quite as well. Since you end up with the two spawns right next to each other. So now we need to go find a third spawn of two, probably. And then that's going to leave one carrot left for the next person. It's it's a permanent cycle of carrot spawn mismatches at this point. Or it could be that they spawn individually. And it's just always two really close to each other. Either way. You see the fires all around the place? Of other people? Ew. Tree in the way. <laughs> That'll work. And it's sewer stew. So we can go to the sewer. Which we now know exactly how to get into. Close to the top. And then since we're going to be in the sewer, I guess we can do the fishing quest since we're there. Again, kind of depends on our RNG and all that. We're running out. The underbelly. Indeed. There's definitely a lot of space for even further down sections under Dalaran here. Not too necessary, though. There's a stew. And there's a stew. Super stew. Have a good one. There you go. See you later. See you around. Really? And I'll we'll go fishing. Why not? We're here. Quick. Hat power. Fishing. So we need to get the corroded jewelry. <laughs> let's see if we can. Let's see if our RNG can continue to be just much, much better. Yep. One and done. <laughs> just get the drop. <laughs> just get the drop. Or maybe he's not doing a cooking quest. Also possible. Or fishing quest. But I got it. <laughs> it's just that easy. <laughs> the corroded jewelry always contains. Fancy gems. So, there you go. <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it's quick, it's quick. But also, we don't get any of the fishing levels if we're too quick. <laughs> no. Pros and cons, I suppose. What can I do for you? See you around. Here we are. Treasure. Let's see what we can do. 100 Dalaran cooking awards in total. But we spent some of them on recipes, so we can't get the hat yet. And our fishing treasure didn't contain an incredibly expensive drop this time. Shocking. What a shocking turn of events. This mount here. The has a trifling trader on it. Just, just going to swoop in here for a second. Just kind of sell some stuff. I'll keep the duty fish. Wild. <laughs> Alright. Maybe he did get it. He's got the... Maybe he's just working on it. Let's see. Here's where I have the Crota Jewelry. Right after we got the bag of fishing treasures, treasures, you got it. So, yeah, we just did one. He did all of it. That's okay. All right. And he is in the lower city. Over in Shetrath. So, let's head over that way. This doesn't possibly have a different way to get places. Go to. Outland. Yeah, it pops up over this side. I don't know. Shatrath. Close enough. Heading back over to Shad Moon Valley. Possibly for the last bit of the 
quest achievement we need to do here. Let's be very close to being done with that achievement. Alright. Everything's still hanging out over here in Shine Shine. Oh, that'll work. The enemy that has an auction price of 17 gold each. Doubting that. Doubting that. You never know. Anyways. Let's go into head out this way now. Always go through here and decide what we're gonna be selling or not. Yeah, if we check our achievement here, I mean, we just got another achievement there. Doing very good on the daily quest achievements here. That's something. <laughs> we go to quests, Red Crusade, and Shaman Valley. We're at 86 out of 90, so we need to do four more quests. Still hoping that we're gonna get the one that goes back to Nagrand here. Pretty sure that's a thing. Yeah, we're very close to the end of both of these then. And then there is the entirety of Nether Storm, but one thing at a time here. We need to go over to the Altar of Shatar, basically. That is where the next bits are. And one of the last places that we made it to, questing wise, before we left for Wrath. Which is why it's not done yet, obviously. One thing that we are not going to be doing right now is more at the Netherwing Ledge. Because there's definitely more to do there. But it, it's almost definitely going to be like all the way in reputation, the reputation here. We're only neutral. So we got, we got a long ways to go there before we would get to the actual rewards and stuff over there. Maybe something to do at a later date. We're still working on all of the fishing and cooking dailies, so. We got enough dailies for now, obviously. Maybe later, maybe later. Get down near to ground level here. So we can get to the altar and also mine anything we might come across. It's always a plus. I don't believe this aura value here, but you never know. I guess if you have like. I don't know if there's really too much value to doing any professions on alts. I guess if you don't. Maybe the ones that you don't have on your quote unquote main character. Either way. Here we are at the altar of Shatar. Where we have some quests to finally take. Vindicator, Alamon. Good fortune. Elden's grasp on this land is slipping. Can you feel it, Eric Harrison? A little bit. <laughs> we did mess with Illidan a bit down at the Path of Conquest area, so. It's a work in progress, that's for sure. The Ash Tongue Tribe. Blessings upon your family. The Ash, the Ash Tongue Tribe is feared among all broken. It consists of the most vicious and bloodthirsty individuals, handpicked by Akuma himself. They are as fierce and ruthless as any Naga, demon, or blood elf in Illidan's army. In Illidan's army. And they have been deployed in large numbers at the ruins of Bari, southwest of here. Go there and put a dent in their numbers, for they get a chance to mount an attack. Right, go to the ruins to the southwest. Remember the lessons of the past. We got a little bit of varieties of them there. Fantastic. Have more training grounds. Scouts have reported a massive influx of some fury blood elf recruits into the ruins of Karabor. Normally, this would represent a purely military threat, but we believe something else is amiss. Descriptions of their attire and fighting style are suspiciously close to that of Illidan himself. I do not want to become alarmed without good reason, so I'd like you to go there and bring me back their weapons. 
will then determine whether my fears are unfounded or not. These are the ruins of Karabor. That's a slightly different ruins. May your days be long. <laughs> There's a lot of ruins out here, in general. And we got quest in the middle here. Blessings right. of Say that. Palace of the Ring. Somebody had a good joke over there, apparently. Years ago, the dreaded warlock, known as Goldan, raised the volcano in the middle of Shadow Moon. The Draenei village of Bari to the southwest was buried under the lava, along with its inhabitants and artifacts of religious importance. The treacherous tribe of Broken, known as the Ashtung, had been by Illidan to excavate the area. It was used this opportunity to recover the Tablets of Bari, an ancient text rumored to hold the secrets of the Temple of Karabor, now known as the Black Temple. I love secrets. Let's get some secrets. Okay. And then this guy has a repeatable quest. This is Marks of Sargeras. Right. So that would be if we want to get some reputation with these guys. Look at this guy's colorful axe. Not connected or anything. Cool, cool, cool. Commander. Narcissus. Alright. So we need to go to the ruins of Marie right here. And do some stuff. Defeat the Ashton guys. Retrospect Club of the Owl. Looks like a skull. So defeat the ash tongues. There's a tablet right there. That's what we're looking for. Alright, tablet fragment. So it's gonna take a lot of a lot of fragments in order to finish this. There's a fell iron though. I was gonna go get that. Add it to the Fell iron pile. Then we'll go quickly for this way. Got a blood fist helmet of strength. 52 strength on a helmet. Not too shabby. And you. Grab this tablet. How much health do these guys have? Not a lot. Poor guys. They're dying too quickly. 4,000. They have 4,000 health. Alright. Hey! More fell iron. Live in the dream. So now we're just going to find some warriors and more fragments, basically. Hey, also, we get some money from fighting stuff. Yeah. And last night. Zero. So that's not not quite gonna get us any range attack levels, unfortunately. Interrupted. Well, I guess they're dead. It's a pretty good reason to be interrupted, I guess. Design two drop living jewelry. Jewel crafting three hundred and fifty. Interesting. Bow. <laughs> Bow kill. Really. Haven't found any of the warriors yet. This has to be in a slightly different area. There's one. Ashton Warrior Slain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they got 6,700 health. 
There you go. Now we're talking. <laughs> we don't need to be killing these workers at all. <laughs> we do fire, but we don't have the accuracy to use it at all yet. I think the warriors are probably going to be further in here then. Seems to be roughly how this is working. There's a tablet fragment. And a shaman. Let's see if we switch to. This is our bow. It's a different bow. Here is a festival chest. Neat. Oh! <laughs> he didn't want us to open that chest. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Delightful. Let's see if this feels faster. I think we're still in the situation where it's not going to matter which one we use. Because the speed doesn't impact the casting time. Here's another fragment. Plenty of fragments over this way. Learn them out with our bow shot here. So I we're not far enough away for that. Or not too far away. Band of the Tiger. Good, 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 good. You come over here. Ash Tongue Warrior. And that takes care of that. We just need two more fragments. We can get anywhere around here. Probably. Any fragment. Good. Just two more fragments. Or one more fragment, even. Very good. We're also doing well on our quest to shoot things with a bow a couple times. Slowly making progress on that front here. As well. And getting some loot. Also a plus. Okay. Let's attack it with that. Him. Pick that. And there we go. Then, we get the Sun Fury Glaze from the slightly different location. Carbor. The Ruins of Carbor southeast. Right. So it's southwest. Now we need to go southeast. There's not much southeast, really. Possibly up in the actual section of the Black Temple. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that's really to the southeast here. We'll see. I guess the Black Temple is actually all the way over there. This is Animal Terrace. Not quite the same spot. There's that Smith guy. <laughs> Look at him go. Mwahaha. Hey. How you doing, Smith guy? Not much. These don't look like the... Demon Hunter Initiates. These are Shadow Moon Slayers. I'm a fortress. Elder Shatar. Supplicants. Two hundred initiates at the ruins of Karabor. Southeast. There's not much I would call it southeast of here. 
I got nuts. Yeah, that's not nice. Well, let's head this way. This is kind of a camp, but this is more of a friendly camp area. Less of a ruins right here, really. A whole, whole pile of stuff going on over there. My goodness. I think this is just going to be another... Tree Bloodlord. Eradicator. I don't think that's right. Let's keep looking. Ruins of Carabor. Warden's Cage. And these up here is all the ruins of Bari. The stars. Prince Farm. Hmm. I feel like the directions might not be quite right here. The Dragon Ball must be stopped, apparently. This is an area. Sanctum of the Stars. Squire Guardians. Commander Hob. It's more of the Squires section. That's not really, not really who we're looking at either. Hmm. Looking for. Demon hunters. Got the ruins of Carabor. Southeast of the altar of Shatar. On the map here. Ruins of Carabor. The dark point. Hmm. Well, there's an ore here while we. Try to think about things. Kevor is the name of the Black Temple. Huh. These guys again. Just trying to mine. <laughs> Don't be so rude about it. Okay. Oh, you mind him. The Dragon Ball has been defeated. Eh, there you go. They defeated the Dragon Ball. They defeated the Dragon Ball. There you go. So we're specifically... This must be a very specific part of here, then. We need to find Demon Hunter, Supplicants, and Initiates. So I think these are called... And this, here's the Ruins of Carabor. Up in here. There they are. I wish that the other section wasn't called the same thing. Okay. There's a blade. There's another blade. There's got a whole pile of these guys. That's gonna work. We have we have defeated the Demon Hunter supplicants <laughs> quite quite decisively. All of them. <laughs> All right. Any more loot from this entire bunch of guys? <laughs> there you go. There's a elite guy right there. Consider this a warm-up. Your real training will be far harsher. Really? Far harsher than everyone's dead? <laughs> Seems pretty harsh to me. 
<laughs> He's not very good at reading the room, is he? Th this was nothing. It's gonna be way more difficult. Oh. <laughs> what happened to the dozens of guys over here? <laughs> and they're gone. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> yeah. Whole th it's more the actual Black Temple in here. I guess the whole thing counts as the Black Temple. This is a shelf. This is a ruins. I guess. It's all good. Turn it some stuff. Here's the tablets. Found the tablets yet, Eric Erickson? Yep. The Bari tablets. Yes, this might provide us with very useful information. Can we get more? Competition with the Aldor. Onoru the Elder. According to the tablets, an artifact known as a medallion of Karabor was kept at Bari. Only the highest ranking Draenei priests were granted these as they allowed unfettered access into the temple of Karabor. We must find out whether the Ashton have recovered the medallion that was kept at Bari yet. Its power would provide great aid in our fight against Illidan. Akama's lieutenant at Bari, Onoru the Elder, receives written orders from him daily. Obtain then them and bring them to me. So we need to go to Aronu back in that area. Bari. Safe. Can do. I think we're going to be just finishing all the quests. Even once we are done with the achievement. <laughs> we already left everyone out here hanging previously. No reason to do that again. Training grounds. You completed the task I asked of you, Eric Erickson? Yep. Got all these Sun Fury Glaives. I, I could have brought you dozens more, but you only wanted eight. Sage. Let's take a closer look at these weapons, Eric Erickson. Hmm. This is rather unsettling. May your days be long Unnecessary long. distraction. The weapons are authentic, as we feared. Illidan is training demon hunters at the ruins of Karabor, and we must put an end to it. Do not be fooled by their name, Eric Erickson. Their power will be used against us as often as against any demon. Their warlocks summon and subdue demons to be used as part of the initiate's training. A pit lord named Azaloth has proven too strong to be used in training and is kept banished. Find a way to let him loose on his captors. That should buy us the time we need. Turn to the ruins of Karabor and unleash Azaloth on his captors. The quest for Aldor cause your squire's reputation level to decrease. That's fine. And then him. Ash Tongue Track. Glory to the Naru, Eric Erickson. You've done the Light's bidding by defeating those who follow Ill Illidan. Remain vigilant. And reclaiming the Holy Grounds. You did well against the Broken at Marie, Eric Erickson. Let's see how well you do against Illidan's most feared army. The fell orcs of the Shadow Moon Clan occupy the Atomal Terrace. It was a very holy site where Atomal crystals were used in spiritual ceremonies. We have reason to believe that they were hiding an actual Atomal crystal in the vicinity, but our scrying has revealed nothing. Nevertheless, the fell orcs are on Draenei holy ground, and their presence must be dealt with. Let's go May your deal with them. Long. Very good. So we have to find the leader guy. Of this section. Probably gonna be somewhere important looking. It's just, that's just a warrior. Are you? Yeah, there he is. Orders from a comma. And we cannot read the orders. That's alright. As much as this seems like a defended position, with all the guards out there, we can fly, so it's not not actually a huge deal. Hilariously. All right. Shadow Moon guys are up on this place, which we know this is what this place is called because we wandered in over here previously. Dragon Slayer. Alright. 
is a dark weaver over here. Not going to keep firing the bow. I mean, we're going to fire the bow until we're not getting a level every time. And then we're going to switch to the crossbow. That's going to work. There's a slayer. Bop. <laughs> yeah. That was a very convincing miss right there. Clearly. Too far away. I don't feel like I'm too far away. Are you a chosen? They are also target. Not enough rage. Oh, oh. Yeah, do some damage. Which is honestly a little bit surprising. Since we really do not have the level. to actually hit anything. 1.5 second cast time for firing. Definitely slowing things down here a little bit. Just need chosen and these guys. Dark weavers. Got some shadow bolt. Don't do that. There's over here. Weave in some dark. As you do. Here is a fancy eyeball. He's dead. Yeah, the cooldown is really only important if we were going to be doing multiple attacks all in a row. One more chosen. We seemed incapable of climbing that stair there for some reason. Wild. Look at this guy. Rude. Yeah. Dealt with. And now we cross over the other side here. And figure out how to release a demon. Sounds like a great plan. What are we thinking? Break some chains, find some keys. What's that demon? No, that's just a terror guard. There's Aslan. Um Kill the people holding them in place. is concentration. And down he goes. Azeloth, demon, elite. Hey there. Are you, are you good? Are you free? You'd think that would free him. Demonic unbanishing. Spells magic wars to keep us off banished. There we go. Now slap dogs. Okay. Yep. Oh. Don't attack me. Well, we freed him. Let's say that's a success. 
It's, it's, it's success shaved at least. That demon's still coming? That's probably fine. Demons? Demons all over the sh all over the shop. Eh, looks like it's fine. The demon did attack us, but it's released. We're out of here. Problem solved. Or problem created. Except it's a problem for our enemies, so. It's a good. It's a good. Orders, there's the spell scroll. Not hide leather scraps, sure. All kinds of stuff out here. Let's turn some stuff in. The Naru have not forgotten us. Any news yet, Eric Hexen? Time is not on our side. Be kind to those less. Tom's own very own handwriting. It is truly sad to think of what become of one as wise and beloved as he. That is, Shadow the Betrayer. That is enough Shadow of Quests. But we're not done yet. <laughs> Another good laugh. Another good joke over there. According to Akama's letter, four fragments of the medallion were unearthed and given to the Ashton Corruptors. These dreaded broken were once powerful shaman who now defiled the very elements they revered. Haloom, Corruptor of Air, which we found at Netherwing Pass. Ahian and Ilra, corruptors of earth and fire, were last seen at the fell pits near the hand of Gul'dan. The Khan, corruptor of water, is rumored to be near Coral Scar Point. Find them and obtain the medallion fragments. Alright. Oh, there. They're all over the place. And we still haven't gotten the quest that presumably connects back to Nagran, so we need to keep doing stuff. Presumably. Greetings. Let's hope the distraction bought us the time we need to fully learn what we need at the training grounds of Karabor. Be kind to those less fortunate. Altruists. It is rare in this day and age to hear of those who follow the path of the demon hunter. It's rarer still to find someone who does and has no allegiance to Illidan. There are rumors of one such individual here in Outland. One name is said to be feared in the legion fields of Nagrand. Nagrand? I like where we're going with this. More than any army of outdoor vindicators. That name is Altruist. Go to Western Nagrand and find him. You might be willing to shed some light on these new demon hunter training grounds. Perfect. Name. That's what we needed. Arcanon and reclaim the holy grounds. Excellent work, warrior. May the light continue to protect you. Got some options. We'll take the most expensive one. Do not lose faith. And they don't have anything else, so. We need to go to the Hand of Gul'dan, the Fiery Veil Place, Coast Guard Point. Oh, just kind of running right into these guys. Right. The Corruptors. Let's work this way. I think we've seen these guys before. Fell pits. Yeah. Looking for this guy. He's immune. I can't do that. No, he's not. So they got some immunity kind of thing going on there. Cool, cool, cool. Stronger than the guy that we train on to get our free levels. I don't think these would be quite as good. So one more of these to the north. Yeah, there's. The fire and the earth ones are right here in the fell pits. There's that one. Yeah, there's one at the water nozzles too. There, they're around. 
in front of them really? Let's see the felt is, yeah. The earth one is down that way too. And somewhere near the water. There's a guy. We can tell by the way that they are doing stuff. Frozen. Fair. <laughs> there you go. That's the water one. The air can be found at Nether Wing Pass. Earth and fire near the fell pits. This is a relatively large area here. It should be over on the side, I believe. It's around here somewhere. We'll be able, we will know we found him because of all the stuff he's doing. It's like right over here. There he is. Oh, these guys. Rocks for days. Yeah. Is he a fragment? No. Just some enraged earth spirits. Yeah, there's a fragment. Mind you, I just need to get to Nether Pants. I mean, the Nether Wings are over this way. It's like where the pass is at, though. Nether Haloon, Nether Wing Pass. That's passy-ish. It could be it. This is where all the Netherwing guys are at, so. Be the first bet. This looks like this looks like a pass. What are you thinking? Netherwing fields? Netherwing pass? There you go. Let's find this corruptor guy. Around here somewhere. Where is he at? Corrupted. This is the Altar of Shadows. Look too far. There's some fell iron, though. Out of here, air spirit. I'm mining. Over here? There he is. There you go. <laughs> Thoroughly dealt with. This air spirit drop. Oh boy, a fragment. <laughs> so these are all parts of the medallion. And then if this ends of that, all we have left is the traveling quest to go to the other side. Nagrand and all that. <laughs> so, so we did end up finishing Shadow Moon before Nagrand. So Nagrand is the second to last zone that we're going to be finishing here, which is I'm using. Also, left is another storm. Ass assuming that we get, assuming that this quest connects to enough quests over there. <laughs> We're not like we have many other options, obviously. So, it should work. 
And also, if this is the end of this. We got there. Medallion Mac. You've changed the four medallion fragments, Big Carson? Yep. May your days be yes, long the four fragments of the medallion. Now to put them together. Seek the, path. the Warden's Cage. The fragments you obtained are only half of the medallion. <laughs> the Ashton leader, Akama, must have kept the other half. I dread to ask this of you, as Akama is both evil and cunning. He and the Ashton Deathsworn, the vilest and most brutal of the tribe, are rumored to run a torture chamber inside the Warden's Cage. I want you to find that dreaded prison and find the whereabouts of Akama. His second in command at the location is a broken known as Zenoru. Interrogate him if you have to. Alright, we can do that. We know where the warden's cage is. It's even got its name on the map here. That's how fancy it is. Let's go. Say hello. Completing quests for the Aldor. What's your squire's reputation to decrease? This is all, these are all Aldor quests. It's interesting. Eight, Sanru. Right, let's five of this Sanru fella. Dread Warden. Jailer. Voros. Oh, down here. Could be. Hey, how's it going? We've been expecting you, Eric Erickson. Kama said you would arrive sooner or later. Yep. <laughs> Our reward is 37 and a half silver. My goodness. Proof of allegiance. Kama's been tracking your progress quite closely, Eric Erickson. The Ashton you've slain at the ruins of Marie are amongst the most evil broken known among us. Carefully handpicked by Kama himself to maintain the facade we need to present to Illidan. The Death Sworn, however, know of Akama's true intentions. First things first, we need to know that you are not with Illidan. A satyr known as Xandras watches over us from above the prison walls on his behalf. Slay him as proof of your allegiance. Slay Xandras. Oh, Gladly. Also, look. Oh, this is, a, this is a horrible spot to be. It's wet. A, a damp prison hole. Great. Not what you want. Let's go find this Xandrus fellow. There he is. Hey. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty easy. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Very well, Eric Erickson. Your allegiance is no longer in question. You may see a comma now. See. You've proven what side you're on. I'll reveal to you our leader's hideout. Follow the halls beyond. There'll be an underground passage hidden by stagnant water on your right. I warn you, Eric Erickson. You are not to speak to anyone of what you see there. Speak to a comma inside the hidden chamber in the warden's cage. You come back. Alright. Death sworn here. There's a portcullis. Go this way. Ooh, it's in under the water here. Very fancy. Not a huge amount of water out here, so that's pretty impressive. Now we are over on this side. Hey, there's a comma. Hey there. How's it going? Too many of my people. To many of my people, I am known as a traitor, as Illidan's lapdog. It is best that they continue to think that for now. Intrigue. Hail, Eric Erickson. There is much we need to talk about. I hope your mind is an open one. The decisions I make are not understood by many. Only my closest collaborators have understanding of the portents I see and the signs I await. When I joined forces with Illidan, it was based on visions foretelling that otherwise my race would have been destroyed. I waited patiently for other signs and visions to come to pass. 
Velen's Exodus, the opening of the Dark Portal, and now, your arrival. Seer Udalo. And, oh, something's happening. Have no fear, dwarf. Just play along. What's happening? Vagathiel's mortals here. Ah! What's the meaning of this? Pathetic broken. Mere nuisance, I assure you. Till the master's prisoner will not escape, while Akama and his death sworn watch over her. You do well not to toy with me, Akama. Illidan has given me specific orders to keep a close watch on the warden. If I find out you're hiding anything from me, I'll crush you with my own hands. Vagath. Just teleport it in here. And that's a secret. The soul won't hold me for long. I'll have Illidan's head one way or another. Maybe have Shadow Song. Forgive my harsh meth methods, but the betrayer cannot learn of the truth. My secret must be kept at all costs. My goodness. If we truly desire the same thing, Akama, then release me. If Illidan is to die, it shall be by my hand. In due time, Maeve. I've spent years preparing to make my move. I can't afford to put my plans in peril by tipping my hand too soon. Curse you, Akama. I'm not your pawn in your game. My will is my own. When I unleash my wrath upon Illidan, it'll have nothing to do with your foolish scheme. My, my, my. Zero Adulo low level. I hope you're not shocked when I reveal to you that the pieces of the medallion of Karabor you obtained from my minions are mere replicas. Kama shows you an identical medallion in his own open palm. My death sworn and I have kept the secret from Illidan for as long as possible. We are, however, still missing the final piece. Udalo came to me in dreams to announce he had found it. Unfortunately, he is held by Kaelfas inside the Architraz in Tempest Keep. Find him and see what he knows. Find Sir Udalo inside the Architraz in Tempest Keep. Well, that, that is a dungeon in Tempest Keep. If we go into the map here. Yeah. Tempest Keep. Also still not sure if we can get into the Architraz. That is going to be at the end of Netherstorm quests and such. But first, we do have a quest to head over to Nagrand and presumably finish that up. So we'll do that. First, after after daily quests, obviously. And maybe we go to the auction house, but I think we're probably fine for right now. So. Presumably finishing Nagrand and starting Netherstorm. If all things go to plan. Next time. Goodbye.